Hi, sweet yogis. To begin, come to lie down on your back and make nice contact with the earth, getting your hips underneath you, and come into a good morning stretch, stretching long in either direction. Your arms come overhead and stretch as long as you can, reaching out from the top of your fingers to the ends of your toes, even giving yourself a little wiggle from side to side, and bring your arms down by your side, Bring your knees in and your feet near your glutes and take a mini bridge for self pelvic lift. Bring your hips up and tilting and tucking your pelvis down towards the earth, relaxing as you come down. Bring your arms out into a T position, bringing your shoulder blades in their pockets. Bring your arms to come up towards one another and slowly lowering back down. Rotate 30 degrees, your thumbs come up towards one another and slowly lowering back down, keeping your shoulder blades in their pockets. Rotate further, your palms come towards one another and back down nice and slow. Rotate 30 degrees further, the pinky edge of your finger comes together and slowly lower back down. Coming out of it, going the opposite direction, your palms are coming to touch, back down. Rotate further, your thumbs come to touch. This is a gravity synthesis routine my husband taught me. And rotate further, the back of your hands in your starting position, back down. Bring your arms down by either side, your legs come in towards one another, rotate your feet in towards one another. Bring your legs out, all the way around in a circle, down towards the ground, back up. Then rotate them exteriorly. Bring them down, around, in, and back up and then begin again rotating them away from one another, down around back up, and then bringing them to point in towards one another, and then taking your legs down around in and back up. Now do it one more time, feeling that in your hips and your core. Now flex your feet, bring them all the way down around in and back up using your strong core. Exteriorly rotate them, and bring them down around in and back up. Bring your toes to touch, your feet, heels point out. Your legs go down around in and back up. Bring your legs both together, point your toes and lower them down for one and back up. Lower them down for two and back up. Lower them down, that's three and back up. Lower them down, that's four. Use your strong core to lift your legs back up, lowering down and back up, down and back up. Flex your feet now, bring them down and back up, ensuring the small of your back doesn't leave the mat. You can point and go down and back up. Flex your feet going down and back up, point your toes and go down and back up for 10. Hug your knees into your chest, bring your arms in a T position, taking a supine twist, then extending your top leg out and raising it up and down, raising it up and down. You can lift your head for a challenge if you'd like, bringing your leg up and down, up and down, raising it up and lowering down. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing it up and down. Engaging your core, lighting your inner fire right from the start, warming up. Continuing to raise your leg up and down. And now take circles, painting big circles with your toe, almost as if your leg is a paintbrush and you're painting big circles. Now take it the other direction, pinning big circles in the other direction, breathing in and out through your nose, engaging your core, lifting up from your pelvic floor as you continue to make big circles. Bring your knees into the center, hug your knees, rock your head and your hips side to side and take it to the other side, dropping down, extend the top leg and raise it up and lower it down, raising up and lowering down, raising up and lowering down.
continuing up and down. Lifting, using your core, lowering down and up and down. 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 Now take circles, painting big circles with your toes, painting nice big circles. Breathing in and out through your nose. And take it the other direction with your circles, going the other direction. Breathing in and out through your nose, engaging your core, lifting up from your pelvic floor. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And rock side to side slightly, rocking your head and your hips from side to side. And roll up into a seated position. Coming onto your hands and knees. Get comfortable. And we'll take cat and cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drawing into yourself. Inhale, look up. Exhale, draw into yourself. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, round into yourself. Exaggerate the movement as much as you can, inhaling up. And exhale, curl into yourself. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, draw into yourself. And now we'll take rib circles, staying where you are, just moving your ribs in a circle. Feel free to move your neck with this motion and your hips a little if you'd like. Taking nice rib circles, moving around, awakening your body. Taking it the other direction, getting your energy and your prana flowing for the day, awakening your chi. Circling around. And now come back onto your heels in a wide-legged child's pose. And then come up all the way and around, bring your hips back in your child's pose and then bring your chest forward and your hips forward as you make big full body circles. Taking your child's pose all the way through a big circular motion. Now take it the other direction, awakening your hips, your ribs, your spine. Now come on back, sit on your heels, drop one arm back, lift your hips, propel them forward as your other arm goes back, serve that arm forward, drop it down, your other arm comes back as your hips thrust forward, continuing with this motion, drawing your hips forward, your arms back, and serving that arm forward and back, the other arm comes up as the hips pop out. Serving that arm forward, bringing it back around, the other arm comes up as the hips drop forward, Awakening your body, serving that arm forward. The other arm comes up as the hips pop forward. And bring your hips back down. Come back onto your hands and knees. Shoulders over your wrist, hips over your knees. Bring your right leg back and lift it up. Bring your left arm out. And then bring your arm and foot to touch. Come back out and turn around and touch. Come back out to extended and twist and touch. Extend, twist and touch, bringing your hand to your foot. Staying here, stretching, feeling the stretch. And come back down and do the other side. Left leg out, right arm out, and then bring hand to foot. Extend out long, hand to foot. Extend out long. Twist, balance, hand to foot. Extend out long. Twist, balance, and this time hold here. Staying, engaging your core, and release down. Now rest your left leg down, your left arm down. Extend your right leg out and your right arm out in, an, in a nice side body stretch in your extended tripod side plank. Stretching nice and long. Raising your leg up, bringing your arm to touch, and then stretch long. 
and then crunch in and touch, stretch long. Bring your leg in and arm to touch, stretch long. And then crunch in and touch, stretch long. And come back. Now take it to the other side. Extending out on the left side, stretching long to start. Nice, beautiful side body stretch, getting more length. And bring your arm and leg to touch and stretch long. Raising your leg, bring your arm to your leg and stretch long. Raising your leg, bring your arm to your leg. Now stretch nice and long. One more time, bring it up and stretch long. Returning back to your hands and knees, pressing down and back in your downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Finding your first downward dog of the class, begin pedaling it out, come up on your tippy toes, find length in your spine, then drop your heels down and begin rocking back and forth, gazing up towards your core, then walk towards the front of your mat. Come to your forward fold with bent legs and bring your arms behind you, hugging your knees dangling your head from side to side, release your arms and begin straightening your legs. Rock one leg and the other, bringing one leg straight and the other. Bring your hands to the back of your head, rock it yes and no, shaking it up and down and all around. Bring one hand down and the other arm up in a nice easy twist, popping out the opposite knee and take it down to the other side, nice easy twist. And coming back down in your forward fold and roll on up to stand. Nice work. Now take a nice wide legged position, bring your arms out to either side and begin rocking from side to side, bending your knees, rocking, twisting your body, hitting either side, letting your arms go, just moving from side to side, awakening your body and your energy twisting and turning and flapping and flipping your arms, breathing in and out through your nose. Now bring your hands up to your temples, continuing to rock from side to side with your hands on your temples, bending your knees, and rocking. Now bring your arms up above your head, clasp your hands, and continue rocking from side to side. You can even sway your hips and release. Bring your hands to your hips and take nice, easy hip circles. Circling around, making nice hip circles, finding more range of motion in your pelvis. And take it the other direction. And begin making a figure eight with your hips, drawing your hips in an eight motion in a figure eight, pretending it's an infinity symbol with infinite possibilities in this life. Now take it the opposite direction. Now here, take your hands on your hips and begin taking a full body hip circle, bringing your body all the way down in a forward fold, and then continuing that rotation all the way up, back, and around, lowering down, up, back, and around. Take it the other direction, using your core for stability. Remembering to breathe. Now take a nice wide-legged forward fold with your hands on your hips, slowly lower down, coming to wherever's comfortable. You can place your hands on your legs or all the way down to the earth. You can even bring your head on down if that's accessible. Now reach opposite arm and foot. So bring your right hand to your left foot and your left hand to your right, twisting. And take it the other direction, opening up your chest. Come back through center, walk your hands forward, dangle your head, release your hips, wiggle from side to side, release any tension, place your hands back in center, and come on back up to standing. And we'll flow, come to the front of your mat, inhale your arms above your head, reach back, get a nice back stretch, and exhale, fold forward into yourself in a forward fold, 
Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step your right leg back into your low crescent lunge, lowering your knees, squaring off your hips, tucking your tail, then dropping down and inhaling your arms above your head. Exhale as you hold here, engaging your core, drawing your inner thighs towards one another. And exhale, open up to the right. You can stay here or draw your back foot in for a nice quad stretch. You can even take a mudra, bringing your other hand to your heart for a challenge in balance. Release with care. Place both your hands on either side. Pop your foot up. Come into plank. Lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Recenter, regroup. Come on your tippy toes. Lower your heels down. Find a flat spine. Gaze up towards your navel. Step your right leg forward, drop your left knee down in your low crescent lunge on the other side, squaring off your hips, then lowering down, placing your hands on your knees, then inhale your arms above your head. Exhale here, drawing in your core, lifting up from your pelvic floor, magnetizing your inner thighs towards one another. Exhale, open up to the left, stay here, or bring that left foot in, grab a hold of it, and take a quad stretch. If you'd like, you can bring your right hand to, to your heart. Release your back foot with care. Place both your hands on either side, and this time step up into your forward fold. Draw into yourself. Come up to find a flat spine. Engage your core. Draw in, and then bring your arms down around, back and up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, your arms above your head. Exhale, swan dive forward into your forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, bring your right leg back. Feel free to scissor your legs to square off your hips the best that you can. Your right foot is turned in slightly. The pressure is in the outer right edge as you come into your warrior one, bending through your front left knee. Inhale, your arms above your head. Bring your hands to clasp for a challenge, gazing up towards your fingertips. Exhale, your arms down, interlace them behind you. Fold forward into your humble warrior. Engage your core. Staying here. Now release your right arm down. Twist your chest open. Bring your left arm up into a nice easy twist. So you can have a bent or straight leg here. Bring that arm down on either side of your foot. Coming into your plank. Slowly lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Finding more length and then bring your heel towards your glute, opening your hip, squaring off your chest. Staying here or flipping your dog if you'd like, coming to bring that back heel down. The other arm reverses up as you come into wild mane. Coming back into your downward facing dog, bring your right leg high to the sky, bringing, drawing it into your pigeon pose. Coming down into your pigeon, your right leg comes across your mat, drawing it in towards yourself for ease or out for a challenge. Inhale up, you can go back slightly if you'd like, and exhale, fold forward over yourself. Sometimes I like to bring my hands up into a prayer position on my head and release any tension here. Peel yourself back up into your pigeon, staying here or taking a challenge. Bring your back leg up, bring your arms back behind you and reach for the back of your foot, drawing the pad of your foot towards your head. Slowly releasing out of your pigeon with care, Come, bring, coming onto the palms of your hands, press yourself up, draw the right leg in and through, threading it through your body and lowering your hips down towards the mat, raising back up, lowering down and back up, down, and back up, down, and back up, down, and back up. Then coming back into your downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky, drawing it in, and coming into a half splits. 
staying here, bringing your left leg down in your half splits or coming into the full splits if that's in your practice. Extending out, inhale your arms up if you're in the full splits and exhale, fold over yourself if accessible or you'd like to. Getting a nice deep stretch. Breathe in and out through your nose. Coming back up if you're in the full splits, inching back into your half splits and coming all the way through into your downward facing dog. Breathing in and out through your nose, gazing up towards your navel, recentering here. Now step your right leg forward, your left leg back, coming into your warrior one on the other side, squaring off your hips and inhale your arms up towards the sky, gazing up towards your palms, finding a nice full expression with nice strong legs, strong core, strong arms. Exhale your arms down, interlace your hands behind you, lower your body coming into your humble warrior, engaging your core, trying to keep your ribs and everything knit in. Release your left arm down, extend that leg, twisting open, and take a nice easy twist. You can have a bent or straight leg here. Gazing up towards your fingertips. Putting your hands on either side of your foot, coming back into plank, lowering down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high to the sky, opening up your hips and bring your heel towards your glute for a nice hip stretch, squaring off your shoulders the best that you can, gazing towards your heel. Stay here or drop into wild thing, lifting your aces points towards the sky, shining your heart forward for this new day. And coming back into downward facing dog, Lift your left leg high towards the sky. Then draw it into your pigeon pose. Coming down into pigeon, bringing your left leg across your body, squaring off your hips. Extend back in a slight back bend and come on down, relaxing your forehead into the earth, grounding. You can reach your arms long or bring them into prayer above your head giving thanks for everything in your life, being grateful for this practice and the fact that you are here and able to move. Press on up, stay here, or take the challenge, bringing your foot in towards your head, grabbing your foot, and bringing your head towards your foot. King Pigeon. Releasing with care, placing your hands on either side, drawing that foot out, threading it through, Lowering your hips down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Then coming back into downward facing dog, extending the left leg high and bringing it in, coming into a half split, lowering the right knee down, extending out, staying here or coming into your full splits. Stay here or inhale your arms above your head, exhale and come on forward, folding over your leg while in the splits for a challenge. Press on back up, inch on back into your half splits, coming back onto your hands and knees and pressing back and up into downward facing dog. Now grab opposite ankles, bring your hand to grab the opposite ankle in a nice twist. And do the other side, opening your chest, reining out your spine. Then step or hop forward to the front of your mat and come into a forward fold. Come into your chair pose, dropping your weight into your heels, drawing your glutes back, bring your arms above your head, holding here in chair, drawing your ribs in towards one another, Engage your core, lift up from your pelvic floor. Bring your hands to prayer and take a twist, bringing your right arm to your left knee.
Now twist to the other side. Engaging your core, keeping the weight in your heels and in your glutes. And now come back into your regular chair pose with your hands above your head. Dropping down, 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 all the way down, hugging yourself in a little ball, coming up on your tippy toes for a stretch and a challenge, placing your heels down and walking into your yogi squat, coming out with your heels on either side of your mat, your hands in your heart, pressing against your knees, nice long spine and rock side to side. Feel free to release your neck here as well. Come to sit on your glutes, bring your heels down and lift your lower legs up in a mini boat pose with your arms out on either side. Then lower your feet down towards the ground and raise them back up. Lower your feet down and raise them back up. Lower down, raising back up midway, lower down, raising back up, lower down and raise back up. Now twist to the left. Come back to center, twist to the right. Come back to center and then slowly lower down, hover and hold. Come back up and into your boat pose, holding here. Then lower your legs and bring them back up. Lower down, bring them back up, lowering down, bring them back up and hover and come all the way down onto your back. Really great work. Bring your heels in towards your glute for bridge pose. Place your hands on either side and begin pressing your hips up towards the sky. Bring your hip points up as high as you can, shining your aces forward. Slowly lower and tuck your tailbone down. You can do that again or come into wheel, placing your hands on either side of your head and pressing up into your wheel. Feel free to walk your feet forward, coming in a little bit closer. Shining your chest forward, releasing your neck and any tension here. Come a little closer if you'd like. Even a little closer if you feel for it. And then slowly bring your legs out, straighten them out so they're straight. And then lower out of your wheel pose, coming down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest, release your back and rock side to side, rocking your neck and your back side to side. Bring your arms out into a T position. Take a nice twist from side to side, hovering. Bring your legs over, hover, and come back through center to the other side, hover, back through center. Going back and forth, almost as if you're gonna do a supine twist, but before letting your legs reach the ground. Rolling back and forth, releasing your spine while working your core. Remembering to breathe. Place your heels down and come into a shoulder stand. If it's in your practice, bring your le legs up and over your head, your hands to the lower part of your spine, trying to straighten out the best that you can. Nice, long, beautiful yogi. Flex your feet. Pretend you're pressing into the wall. And then point your toes. Draw one leg in, take a tree pose if you'd like. Then draw that leg back up and do the other side, drawing it in and into the inner part of your thigh for a tree pose variation, drawing it back up. Bring your legs out to either side and then begin rotating them one way, then rotate them the other way, bringing them back through to center. Bring your knees to bend in towards your glutes and then extend them over into your plow position. Nice long spine, nice long legs. You can keep your hands where they are or interlace them and draw them down your mat or support the small of your back, whatever feels best. From here, come into turtle pose if you please. Your knees to come on either side of your ears, almost like earmuffs, pressing them in. You're in your little turtle shell. Now you can... Stay in plow or you can come into full lotus. Once you're in lotus, you can stay there or you can release and grab your knees. Bring your arms to your knees. You're still in your shoulder stand position. You're just in a full lotus. Place your hands on the small of your back, then release down. 
Bring your lotus down to the ground and arch up in a fish pose. Bring your the arching your back, bringing your forehead down to the earth and grabbing onto your feet, releasing here. Come out of it and sit up into your full lotus. And if a bind is accessible for you, grabbing a hold of your feet, binding. Staying upright or folding all the way forward. If this is inaccessible, you can stay in your full or half lotus and sit upright or begin folding over. Release with care. And then twist, just grabbing your opposite knee, bringing your arm behind you, reining it out and doing the other side, twisting. Unrelease your lotus. Come to your hands and knees. And rock side to side on your knees, releasing any tension. And come into a headstand if it's in your practice, coming, bringing your forearms together, your hands to clasp. And slowly walk your feet in and use your core to bring yourself up. This is for people that already have a handstand in their practice, using your core to bring yourself up into your full expression of your handstand. You can always do this against a wall and pause the video if you'd like. Engaging your core, finding a nice, beautiful handstand. You can have pointed or flexed feet. Then slowly lowering halfway down and almost as if you're in Tadasana but in your handstand, using your core. Holding here, then raise back up into your handstand with care. And then slowly lowering down, nice and slow with control, lowering your legs down towards the earth coming down onto your knees and into your child's pose, resting here. Taking a moment to tune into your divine self. Now we'll begin winding down the practice. If you wanna put a jacket on or anything, feel free. Okay, come to find a seated position with your legs extended forward into Jasana. Inhale your arms above your head. Exhale, fold forward into your forward fold, drawing into yourself, resting here. Inhale to come up and find half lotus or just bring that foot to your inner thigh. Keep it there or take a bind, bring your opposite arm to your toes. Keep it there or bring your arm up and fold over your leg in a nice forward fold variation. Come up, release and do the other side. Bringing your leg into a half lotus or just bringing your heel towards your inner thigh. Binding if you'd like and if you'd like to go further, you can inhale that arm up and exhale, fold over yourself, drawing into the magical inner world of you. Inhale to come up. Now draw your right leg in and bring your arm around it and twist. Twisting out, reining out your spine, gazing over the opposite shoulder. Now come forward, bring your arm around the knee and bring it behind your back. The other arm comes around to clasp, staying here or folding over that extended leg. Now bring that foot into the crease of your arm, your knee into the other crease and rock your leg side to side, your little leg baby, <laughs> rocking it side to side, releasing tension in your hips. Taking it on the other side, bringing that foot in for a gentle twist, 
either hugging the knee or bringing the outside of the arm to the knee, gazing out over the opposite arm, reining out your spine, detoxifying your system. And now bring your body forward, bring your arm around your knee, your other arm comes back to clasp, staying upright or folding forward. Coming out of it and bringing that foot into the crease of your elbow and rocking your knee and hip side to side, releasing any tension, leaving it here on the mat. Release your leg down, come onto your back and into happy baby, drawing your legs up towards the sky, your arms on the inside of your feet, grabbing the outside edges and relaxing here. You can stay still or rock side to side, trying to get the small of your back into the earth and nice long spine. Now take eagle legs, drawing one leg around the other, and come into your supine twist, gazing out over the opposite arm, drawing those knees down towards the earth. Relaxing here. Come up through center, release your legs, and take it on the other side. Eagle legs and supine twist, gaze out over the opposite side. Come back through center. And take a normal supine twist and you can stay there or you can extend the top leg out, grab the foot and draw the bottom leg in and grab the bottom foot for a human pretzel or a pretzel. Release out of it. And if that top leg was extended, you can draw it op open to the other side, switching arms, opening your leg out and extending the other leg straight. The left leg is straight, the right leg is out. Taking it on the other side, bring your knees into your chest, supine twist, grabbing the top of the left foot and bringing the right leg in towards your glute and grabbing the bottom with the other arm, gazing over your opposite shoulder and your human pretzel. Now extend your right leg out long and your left leg out to the opposite side with your left arm grabbing your foot for a nice stretch, releasing any tension. Now coming into butterfly pose, bringing your heels towards one another, your knees open wide and begin pressing the tissue from your hips away from yourself. Take a mini self pelvic lift or a mini bridge, bring your hips up, lowering your pelvis down and coming into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Begin by releasing any tension in your eyes, in your nose, in your mouth, release your jaw, anything that's going on in your brain, let it go. Turn off the computer for a moment. Relax your forehead, relax your neck, all the way down your nuchal ligament, all the way down your neck, into your shoulders. Relax your shoulders down your spine and away from your ears. Feeling a golden light fill your heart and pulse through all your veins that goes up into your head, down your arms and through your fingertips, through your heart getting rid of any sticky or darkness, going through your body into your stomach, radiating through your pelvis, your back, your lower spine, the bowl of your pelvis and out your legs, all the way down your knees, your calves, your ankles, and shooting out through your toes, letting it rejuvenate you, cleansing out anything that doesn't serve you. You can say this affirmation if you'd like. Infinite love fills my mind and body with its perfect life. Infinite love fills my mind and body with its perfect life. I am at peace. Deep at the center of my being is an infinite well of peace. You can stay here for as long as you'd like or begin wiggling your fingers and toes. Push on up into a seated position into whatever comfortable position you'd like. Close your eyes to go inward. Finding your sit bones and inhale as large as you can. 
exhale. Inhale as large as you can. And exhale. Inhale as large as you can and hold. And exhale. Inhale your arms above your head. Exhale your hands to your third eye or your heart center. Bow forward. Namaste. The divine spirit in me recognizes and honors the divine spirit in you. May you go forth on your path and shine ever so brightly. Thank you for practicing with me today. This has been Krista Clark with ArtisticVegan.com. And if you'd like more yoga, you can follow at Yoga with Krista on Instagram.